Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante, day three, live from EMC World 2013. I'm here with my co-host, David Floyer. David, it's just been an unbelievable event. Shovik Chaudhry is here, and he is with SunGuard, a uh, provider of data protection services. I love this spotlight, David, because you and I get to set it up. We get to go deep with Stephen Manley. We had Federal Express on, talking about you know, customer issues, and now we get to, to get with Shavik, the service provider perspective. So Shavik, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much, thanks for having me here. Glad, glad, really a pleasure. Yeah, so cloud obviously has been a big, big theme of this event. Uh, I was at, actually at the, uh, the Partner Summit and mm -hmm. hosted a panel, uh, 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 SunGuard was actually uh, on there. Uh, Michael uh, mm -hmm. Delatore yep. from SunGuard yep. was there. And uh, so real themes around you know, delivering of uh, IT as a service, but data protection as a service is uh, something whose time has come. You guys, have, you guys have been doing it kind of brute force, mm -hmm. you know, pre-cloud for, yes. for many years. So first of all, tell us about yourself, uh, tell us about the part of SunGuard that you're involved in. So once again, thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure to talk to all of you. Uh, my name is Shovika, and I run product management for SunGuard Data Management Services, uh, which involves any managed services around custom, protecting customers' data, using multiple technologies like backup, replication, snapshots, and more importantly, using those technologies to bring up the critical applications the customers need to run their production systems and business processes. Uh, as you said, SunGuard has been in the data protection and application recovery business for, for many years, 25 plus years, right? So what we have seen is that the customer problems that we solve have not really changed. How we solve those problems are changing and will continue to change, right? And we use various technologies, EMC is predominant among them, to, to, to serve our primary targets, which is the CIOs and VPs of ID, to make sure they can keep their complex business applications up and running and optimize on the cost and the performance. So tell me more about your service. So when do customers come to you and what are they looking for? So customers come to us uh, in, in, you know, let me, let me do this, let me tell you a couple of stories that of customer interactions I had this week at EMC World, uh, and, and that will give you a perspective, right? Yes. So I was talking to a, a CIO of a major energy company uh, earlier today, right? I cannot take the name of the gentleman, very smart guy, and he was telling me, right, you know, a mutual friend connected us, and he was like, Shovik, I got a problem. I said, okay, how can I help you out? And the problem goes like this, right? That one of my primary initiatives from, from my CEO this year is that I need to refresh my SAP environment, right? I was like, that's great. I mean, it's an interesting project, lots of people working on it. You're like, absolutely right. I've got 250 developers writing up the SAP codes and we are going beta uh, in, in, in Q3, Q4, uh, and I need to put it on production uh, Q1, January of next year. I said, okay, great, so how can I help you? And he was like, you know what, the biggest problem I face right now, I don't have an availability story. I am running this, this huge SAP, SAP environment on vBlocks, but you know, I am in, in a downtown location and, and I have like the worldwide company's MPLS circuits coming into my basement, and if that basement gets flooded, the SAP is down, I don't, I, and when my CEO and my board ask me that question, I don't have an answer, what can I do, right? And I said, okay, this is exactly the type of problems we can help you with, right? We can make sure, we can start with the data protection layer, make sure that your critical SAP data and the Oracle data that you are generating is in a location that is geographically disparate enough, right? And making sure it, it adheres to all your corporate and, 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 and laws that are the, of the land to, for the Data Privacy Act, right? We can make sure having the in-depth expertise on SAP and Oracle, because we host those and run those in production, that if your stuff cannot actually come into work and the data is not around to bring up those applications, we can bring that up in your data center. And I was like, does that help you? And he was like, absolutely yes, right? I mean, now, now let's, let's continue the discussion and I have a story that I can go back to my board and CEO and, and tell them I have a partner who can help me solve this. Not only saving me a whole bunch of money, but more importantly, having the expertise and the assurance because, because people are looking at me and us as partner for running a $10 billion plus business, right? So that's why CEOs and VPs of IT come to us, right? Uh, for for that, that, that resiliency, the protection of the critical SAP and other business applications. So talk about your, um 
your infrastructure, how it's evolved over the past several years. Uh, you know this business, you've been in the business for a while now, you understand data protection and the different products and you've seen it evolve. How has, how has SunGuard's infrastructure evolved? Yeah, we, so, so over the last 10 to 15 years, right, SunGuard uh, has matured a whole lot, right? And, and that has been driven completely by number one, what our customers' problems have, how our customers' problems have changed, and number two, the new technologies that have come into the market to help us solve those customers' problems. So we look at the customer, like, okay, how can I solve your problems? And then we look at our key vendors, like EMC, and talk to their product and engineering team, like, okay guys, what do you have in your basket to help me actually solve those problems, right? And as part of that, right, in you know, 15, 20 years back, the predominant method of protecting customers applications was using tapes and hardware and stuff like that, right? So then that, that that's sort of- your name in, isn't Yeah, it? that yeah. was made a name, that's where we made our money uh, and was very relevant, right? But, but, the, but the, the story changed on us and, mm. and that was completely, once again, not because we wanted to do some science fair projects with new technology, but customers' needs changed, the market changed, right? So, so we sort of transformed our business from a, a tape-based, very hardware-centric business to more of a disk-based backup, VTLs, data domains business, right? And, and we have a huge number of customers doing that right now. But as we even look at this whole picture right now, we see that we are going through a third generation of transformation again, right? And that is driven by the, 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 the need for customers for even higher application uptime. Like, you know, previously in a tape-based world, down for 72 hours was okay. In a disk-based world, down for you know 24 hours was like, okay, sort of. Now when I talk to the CIOs and VPs of IT, they are looking for two hours and four hours, right? And mm -hmm. that is forcing a whole bunch of change in the infrastructure, starting from our network infrastructure layer, the types of disks and compute and storage we want to buy, down to the type of people we hire and the type of application complexities we have to deal with, right? So it's a great question. I mean, we, we, have, we were in one place, we went through a transformation, and we are going through the transformation again, not only on the infrastructure stack, but the network, compute, uh, the, the, the people, and the storage, and, and that whole package we need to do to deliver a service. Yeah, I know I, David, I know I sound like a broken record on this one, but we're entering the age of how do you back up a petabyte, and the answer is you don't. <laughs> yeah. you, have to, you have to fundamentally Absolutely. protect the data. Yeah. It's a whole new yeah. mindset as to yeah. how you approach uh, yeah. data protection. So I want to also ask you, so I, I talked to Michael Delatorre about this in the, in the Partner Summit, and I asked, how do you compete with Amazon? He said, well, we don't really, we, yeah. we complement. But I always say, look, if you, you can't take Amazon head on, you have to specialize, and you guys are a perfect example mm -hmm. of that. So, so could you talk about that a, a little bit, just the whole Amazon effect? Because they have done a great service, I think, to mm -hmm. the industry by forcing you know, this notion of simplicity and, and speed. What effect has that had on, on SunGuard, if any? Yeah, so, okay, let me, let me answer that question by, by, by playing the story of another conversation I had with the CIO a few weeks back, right? So, th this guy is a, the CIO of a major technology company based in the Bay Area, really smart guy, knows what's going on, and, and you know, I, I just sort of, in my, in my road trips, I happened to meet him and, you know, and said, okay, can we go and have lunch? And I was asking him that, what do you want to talk about, right? I have a few questions for you, but what do you want to do? And he was like, Shovik, I mean, uh, my board keeps telling me that there's this new thing called Amazon, right? That's going to solve all my uh, problems and just, you know, write them a check. Uh, I, I'm not even sure what you are doing here, right? I can just move the whole business to Amazon. Like, how, how I, are you, I mean, you talk You don't to even me. have to write him a check. You yeah. can just swipe the credit card. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to write a check, right? <laughs> and I was like, hey, you know, show me, you talk to other CIOs, are you hearing the same thing? Or I'm just not getting it. Like, connect a few dots in my mind. And I was like, you know, there is a huge disconnect between reality and perception, right? So there is this perception. I mean, so, so, so here is this thing, right? When I go to my doctor for the yearly checkup, he always tells me you're a technology guy, but I know more than you because I go to the Best Buy to pick up a hard disk for $100. So I am really great. And in a lot of ways, 
we have the similar problem with the yeah, board yeah. because they know they can go to Amazon and sign up for these things and that okay I know more than you because I just you know I can swipe the credit card and buy a computer right but it's only such small portion of the story right you need to be protect the data you need to have application application resiliency you need to have security you need to have privacy right and you need to be in a budget and a cheap, cheaper way right and then I said okay that's fine I mean everybody is getting the question and the answer is Right, Amazon is, is a great service. There are some use cases where they're extremely good, right? And for example, when Dell comes with a new server, uh, which is really cheap, we don't say, oh, I'm really scared Dell is like you know coming up with a new server, really cheap. <laughs> we figure out how to use the Dell server to get, uh, deliver a better service yes, to the customer. It, right? I mean, we do exactly the same with Amazon. Yeah. We say like 50 petabytes of data nobody's ever going to use, and it's mostly videos of personal collection you know, hosted on customer's data center. We're like, okay, dump it on Amazon. Why do you care? Why? You know, that's my advice to you. On the other hand, you have a complex SAP application or some other things like that. Yeah, we'll figure out how to use Amazon, but you should not, you cannot use it. Right? Okay, that's good. So we're a little tight on time. I want to get into the EMC relationship a little mm -hmm. bit, spend a little bit of time on that. So what are you doing with EMC? You guys have had a partnership for a while, so products, partnerships, you know, relationship. Talk about that a little bit. And yeah. And, and, and talk about what their, their vision. Do you, are you buying into their vision of where they're going? Yeah, so a absolutely, right? Now let, let's talk, let me start with that, the vision question first right. and then yeah. sort of walk down to what we are doing on the product side, right? So, so if you look at what EMC is doing, right? EMC has a great portfolio of technologies for application resiliency, data protection, virtualization technologies, right? And, and what we do is we use those technologies to create services. And as service providers, we care about a couple of things. Item number one is solving customer's problem. Can we use the technologies in a vendor to solve the problem? If we cannot do that, there is no story, right? Second, we, what we do is that the more integrated and cohesive those solutions are, higher is the quality of service and easier it is for us to deliver, right? And the last one we do is that do we do we really trust? Do we buy into the roadmap and the vision? Can we work at a partner? Can we, you know, if you have a problem at like one o'clock at night, can I pick up the phone and call someone, right? But that's what we do as a service provider. That's what we need, right? And if I look at the EMC and how the relationship is and where it has matured over the last five, 10 years, we got all of those, right? We are integrated with them on their product roadmap side. I, I know their, their the, the leadership product management side and the engineering side or the sales side on a first name basis. They, and it's the vision they have for their products in a lot of scenarios, actually in most scenarios, is a joint vision because that is based on common customer problems we are seeing and we basically jointly design and, 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 and build the products, right? And then we take those products out to the market jointly with this, you know, just like us, like we are, you know, we are talking as friends, like you know, trying to solve the customer's problem. And our sales guys go out with the MC sales guys and talk to the customer. Say, we jointly can help you solve this problem. Can we do it, right? And once you do that, everything falls in place, right? I strongly believe everything needs to be driven by the customer. And when we work together, get in the front of the customer, and we can have visible proof, right? We we, we can we we can actually solve their problems. Uh, it works great, right? For for example. We, we launched uh, our Avamar cloud-based complex application recovery service with very tight recovery time objective last year. Tremendous market response, tremendous. I mean, EMC guys are pulling us into the deals. Uh, we are talking to the customers. We have a huge pipeline and, and it just like sort of, it's a great example of how multiple technologies and partners are coming together to solve real problems for our customers, right? What's, what's, uh, what's on the to-do list and then we got to wrap? Uh, so, first of all, digest all the great information and the conversations I had yeah, this yeah, week yeah. and get back you home. Pay attention to the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> second, second thing we need to do is we have some great exciting product launches and service launches regarding the Avamar Cloud and we, we, we are very much excited to take it to more and more customers and actually really build it up a real service with many, many hundreds of customers, right? We look forward to doing it this year. And, and then basically continue on our journey of helping our customers with uh, with complex application uptime availability, working very jointly with EMC, right? That's that's the pretty simple three things. I'm a simple awesome. person, three three All priorities. Right. 
Uh, Shavik Chaudhry, thank you very much from SunGuard for coming on and, uh, and wrapping up this uh, spotlight on backup and recovery systems, data protection as a service. Really appreciate it, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. All right, David, Thanks. thank you for sitting in on me thank with you. this in this BRS spotlight. All right, everybody, keep it right there. We'll be back, we've got a couple more segments here. We're here live from EMC World 2013. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back. <laughs>